Hello and welcome to our video. Today we'll be discussing Solus, an independent Linux-based operating system that has recently seen a resurgence after a period of stagnation. Let's dive into the story of Solus. Solus OS was first introduced in 2011 by Irish developer Ike Dougherty as a beginner-friendly Debian-based Linux distribution with the popular GNOME 2 desktop. The goal of the distribution was to provide a more streamlined and user-friendly experience for desktop users. In 2015, Solus OS underwent a complete overhaul and was rebranded as Solus. This marked a significant turning point for the project, as it shifted away from its Debian roots and became an independent distribution built from scratch. Solus introduced its own package manager and in-house built desktop environment called Budgie. In July 2016, Solus adopted a rolling release model, abandoning the concept of fixed point releases. In 2017, Solus began using the Flatpak platform to package third-party applications and announced plans to adopt the Snap platform as well. At this time, Solus was highly regarded by the Linux community and was a popular and actively developed distribution. However, things took a turn for the worse when Ike Dougherty, the founder of Solus, announced his departure from the project in March 2018 for personal reasons. This was a major setback for Solus, as Ike had been the driving force behind its development. In January 2022, Josh Strobel, the experience lead for Solus, also resigned from the project. The Budgie desktop environment was split off from Solus and developed independently under Strobel's newly founded Buddies of Budgie organization. In January 2023, Solus suffered an infrastructure outage that lasted until April 2023. This brought down their website, forums and development platform. Their website was restored by moving it to GitHub pages. In April 2023, Josh Strobel announced measures to restore order to the project and published a blog post titled A New Voyage, detailing new personnel and plans to explore rebasing Solus on Serpent OS, which Ike had been working on. The development infrastructure and forums were also restored at this time. Despite these challenges, Solus has been able to get back on track and is now actively developing once again. The team announced that they are working on releasing Solus 4.4 ISO, which will be the first ISO released in almost two years. Regular updates have also resumed for users. In conclusion, Solus has had its share of ups and downs over the years, despite facing significant challenges, including an infrastructure outage in January 2023, the project has persevered and continues to provide a stable and user-friendly operating system for desktop users in four popular desktop environments – Budgie, Gnome, Mate and KDE Plasma. The future looks bright for this promising Linux distribution. What are your thoughts on Solus? Have you used it before? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching our video. Please share it with others, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. See you next time.